Today, I'm gonna to be making the Yamello Baking. This is the Dino Brownie Mix. It was actually mailed to us from Yamello, but we have seen these mixes before in Walmart in the baking aisle, so just know you can get it there. This makes one pan of brownies. Uh, what you need is uh, one egg, and a half cup of oil, and a half cup of water. And then, in here, we're gonna have other couple of other things I'll show it to you. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. This is your brownie mix. And then this is your sprinkles. And so we're not going to need the sprinkles right now. We're going to set these to the side. But you can actually see if you look close, they have little dinosaurs and uh, in there. So we don't use those to the very end. But what you want to do is you want to use an 8 by 8 inch uh, pan this is a glass pan you can either uh, spray the bottom uh, with with spray or butter i'm choosing to use parchment paper because i like to lift mine out i think it makes it makes them prettier at the end and you don't have to clean your pan out uh, but bake uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then basically just mix these ingredients together in a bowl Take this mixture and pour it into your pan. I'm gonna spread this out. And if you use random um, clothes pins or chip clips or whatever to hold your parchment paper, just make sure you don't forget to take those off because you, you can't bake those can't bake those in the oven. So this needs to bake for 38 to 42 minutes. We're gonna go for 40 minutes and then we'll be back. This is how the brownies look after 40 minutes in the oven. And so now you want to let them cool for five to eight minutes. I've set a timer for six minutes and then we're gonna add our uh, dinosaur sprinkles to the top. So my timer just went off. So now you want to take the sprinkles and put them over the top of the brownies. And I don't know why they wanted you to wait. Um, wait for a, a certain amount of time before you added these because it seems like they would want um, them to stick to the brownies, but they didn't, this is what they said. So now you just leave them here and you wait until they cool completely. Okay, these have been sitting. They are still a little bit warm, I'll tell you that right now. And this is why I like using parchment paper because now my pan's clean. I clean can pan. just put it back up. And these edges are really nice. Okay, believe it or not, it says you're supposed to get 24, uh, 24 brownies out of here. Uh, that ain't happening. So I'm just gonna cut them the way I would normally cut them. And um, it is what it is because you're not going to get 24. I think that's that's a bit much. But these are small. They're small, but but I think they'll be good pieces. The sprinkles are kind of mess. They are, yeah. And that's that's another good thing about having the parchment paper is uh, it catches all that. It catches these sprinkles, where if you were taking it out of that pan, uh, it would probably be a disaster. So this is what it looks like. Look at that. That looks really nice. It does say there are 24, serving size 24. 1 24th, 28 grams as packaged is 120 calories, as prepared is 170 calories. Now, um, if you want your sprinkles to stick better, then you would need to buy your own icing. And it even says on here, uh, for fudge ice brownies, allow to cool for 15 minutes, then add icing. But they don't give you the icing. So, I think it would be awesome if, if they, they gave you a little, a little package of ice. Just but, enough to spray over the top to let mm -hmm. things stick. Yeah, just, yeah, because they wouldn't have to give you very much at all in order to accomplish that. But I think that would be uh, really nice if they would do that. 
Uh, these are distributed by TG Foods in Chicago, Illinois. Yummellow.com. Okay. And well, the, I, I, oh, I tell you, the sprinkles is all fall off. Kevin, you're going to make a mess. Look at you. The only thing that makes this dinosaur is that one little uh, green sprinkle. That one little green sprinkle that is the shape of a dinosaur. That's what makes these dinosaurs, just so you know. Okay. You know, it's weird though, too. Yum Mallow usually does like marshmallows and stuff. Mm -hmm. It does have these little white marshmallows in it, but. That is a good brownie. You wouldn't think that would be like Yum Mallow would have more marshmallow in it, you know? And you know what? I really like the. Um, I like the sprinkles because it gives it all kinds of crunchiness to it. Mm. Mm. I always have the brownie. Mm -mm. Not me. It's a good brownie. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a darker chocolate brownie, but it's very since ours is still a little bit warm, it's still a little goopy, mm -hmm. um, which I like. I do too. I it's love chocolate butter. I love that it's warm. Mm -hmm. I love that it's gooey. It baked perfectly. So on the outside, you know, you had that firm top, but then on the inside, it's it's almost underdone. It's mm -hmm. not, but it's almost underdone, like a ooey gooey cookie. I'm surprised. Now I was telling Tammy this before. I'm surprised they didn't have me mix the sprinkles in with the brownie. No. Yeah. They don't. I read the directions twice. Tammy's read them twice. Yeah. Um, it literally says sprinkle over the top. Mm -hmm. um, but surprisingly, they don't have you put them in the middle. Mm -hmm. They get that kind of going all through it. Mm -hmm. But they don't. It's on top. But if you're wondering, if you've seen these and you're like, is that an actually, is it a good tasting brine? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. No. Yeah. I really do like this. I, I think it's very, very sweet. It's not too dark. I think kids are going to love it. Mm -hmm. Little um, kids will maybe make a mess with the sprinkles, so you just have to kind of keep an eye on them. Yes. It, it would help the sprinkles to stick, like I said, if you did put icing on them. But if you put like chocolate icing on them, then they're going to get that all over their hands anyway. So no matter what, you're going to have a little bit of a mess. Yeah. If you have kids, you're used to that anyway, though. Um, but I do think these are absolutely... Uh, yep, they're good. They're very, very good. They're brownies. good brownies. Yes. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.